Hi Leo, welcome to your You versus Them Love Tarot reading for July. This is Miri and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Leo, let's take a look at you and your person, whoever's on your mind, whoever you're thinking of for this reading. You're wondering, you know, what is the energy between the two of you, no matter what your circumstance or situation is. I'm going to take a look at your energy and their energy and see what the energies are between the two of you. So welcome in welcome in hope everyone's doing well staying safe and healthy at this time so leo oops we got a flipper here at leo Ooh, i'm gonna put you over here leo and your person here but you definitely can switch in reverse energies around leo anytime you feel the need to but for me as a reader it'll just be easier to um call one side you and one uh, side them so take it how it resonates for you this is for sun moon rising and venus male or female general collective reading so again take what resonates including the signs mentioned and leave the rest and the cards you see me placing over there leo those are for your extended reading so if this does resonate for you and you would like to go the extended reading all that information is down below with the link or links depending on if you want to join patreon or if you want just one-time purchase everything's down there everything you need to know about me in the channel if you're new is down there so please check that out if you would like to leo so a big announcement leo i'm reopening private readings so if that's something you're interested in you can find uh the link below to book a reading and um probably be at least a one to two week waiting periods all right for leo all right and i'll show you these just a little bit later leo if you're extended so let's take a look at your energy leo so we have caring connections and we have 14 which is a five five is all about change and we have transformation and we have green here which is the heart chakra so i feel like leo there's a connection here that you feel a strong either connection or bond or you have strong feelings towards this person and you're hoping this energy between you or the energy of this connection can move forward into a uh, relationship that is very caring nurturing giving even if it's starting here you know dating getting to know you know getting flowers or giving exchanging gifts and just starting like that courting and dating process could be for some of you and hoping you know it can transform into something big bright and beautiful here big change so i think that's what you're hoping for so whether this started out as a friendship or a co-worker or some sort of connection that you made i think you're hoping that the bonds will deepen here and transform into something bigger because we do have the butterf a butterfly right here and you know heart chakras hearts opening up to this connection could have um, a masculine watching you admiring you at this time and maybe they're wanting this so you, again maybe you know this maybe you don't so again you can take this how it resonates for you so let's see here leo let's see how the other person is feeling strategy we have 21 which is three three is all about teamwork collaboration compromise people coming together working building together it could be um, socializing it could be community and we have strength well there you are leo strength is the leo card so whoever you're thinking of they are thinking of you very strong connection here they could be getting ready to open up gaining their strength and courage to open up i feel like this strategizing you do see the um it's just a feather but it could be a quill you know old-fashioned scribing writing so they could be strategizing a way here to communicate to come in and kind of like three 21 three can be about reunion union coming together so i feel like they feel the strong connection to you leo this is your energy strategizing how to communicate come in here for either reunion or a compromise or you know bringing something together here leo hmm. all right leo oh let's see so i want to take a look at your energy first and then we'll take a look at your person's energy this is for leo sun moon rising and venus male or female general collective let's see what is going on here for you leo 
All right, Leo's energy at this time towards this person. I feel like you feel this connection. You're hoping it'll be more. Tower, yeah, you're waiting for this big shift and change. Something could be happening now, Leo. The tower can be now energy or soon energy. This is the massive shift, shock, surprise. You could be getting a big surprise or you're hoping for that. Shift, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. You could have had a big awakening about this uh, connection. That's Aries energy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And as I say that, we get the Ace of Swords, which is again, a massive awakening, epiphany, aha moment. Truth, clarity, honest communication. And the Queen of Pentacles here can be Capricorn, male or female, but this is a loyal, stable, grounded partner. Very uh, loyal, trustworthy um, energy, nurturing, giving, abundant energy. Wow, I feel like yeah, maybe you even want to marry this person someday. You could you could see yourself being committed or married long term to them. I feel. All right, what else here for Leo? For Leo, Leo. Maybe you've received downloads from the universe that this will transform. It's just going to take some time. Oh my God! And the Ace of Wands. A lot of fire, passion, attraction, excitement. Um, it could be, you know, spirituality, faith coming into play here also, exciting new energy. I feel like this person maybe breathed um, new excitement into your life, Leo. Strength. Well, there you are, Leo. Oh my God, we have strength twice. No doubt about it here. Very strong connection. You both feel that pull towards each other. Maybe past lives together. There's a lot of holding back. They're, you're holding back. They're holding back. Very strong connection here that cannot be denied. That's Leo energy. That's you. What else here for Leo? What's this? Three of Pentacles in reverse. But things, um, you could have worked with this person at one time. Maybe you don't any longer with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. But there's a sense of things not really either working out or coming together right now as it stands. But you're hoping that um, it will. All right. So let's see here. So, oh, we have the lovers. Soulmate, twin flame energy. This is Gemini energy. So you feel that bond. You definitely do. Nine of cups. So we're definitely talking about single energy here. But we also do have the eight of cups here. Eight of cups just was at the bottom of the deck and I put it back in. Um, so I feel like here, you know, the Eight of Cups can be about walking away, but I think I need to clarify that because we have, like, you know, this is your person that could bring you a lot of happiness, joy, fulfillment, wish fulfillment, strong bond here with the lover's energy, Cupid's arrow striking here, but yet there's an energy here of walking away from something. Maybe this person walked away from you or um, either rejected you or something at one time. Or you had to walk away for some reason. Let's just cl clarify why oh, we got two here. Oh my god, we got... Look at all these cups. That is crazy. We have the ten of cups, the seven of cups, and the four of cups. We got the seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god. We're missing the five and six, but this is crazy. So, I mean, the Ten of Cups is ultimate fulfillment here. Happiness and joy, people coming together into true bliss. But there's confusion around this with the Seven of Cups, or it's a very daydreamy, dreamy kind of energy. You definitely could be daydreaming about this person. Being in this Ten of Cups energy, being in that caring connection energy. Um... But there's a lot of illusion around it, too. And the Four of Cups is about, you know, the love offer. You're like giving, receiving. Where is it? Is it going to come in? You know, kind of a melancholy, daydreamy kind of energy. Unsure. So I feel like here with this Eight of Cups, like, you know, it, it's the potential. You're hoping for that. But right now, there's just a lot of confusion. So maybe you just kind of kind of walked away and said, OK, well, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. I can sense it. I know it. I feel it. I'm just kind of waiting for this person to come in with that offer. But for now, I'm just going to trust my intuition. 
you know you could be manifesting by dreaming uh, daydreaming um, dreaming what it would be like to be in the ten of cups energy with this person but you're right in the middle here Leo so we have the king of swords on the bottom of the deck which is Gemini energy so some of you could be dealing with an air sign and you know this is about truth clarity king of swords a very direct blunt to the point tells it like it is there's no holding back very smart practical wise uh analytical so you could be connecting with somebody who uses their mind has to make a lot of decisions maybe works in medical law law enforcement military or someone who is a decision maker in some form I feel like again you want nothing but truth clarity from this person and i think they're getting ready to bring this in here leo so i don't know if you're in communication with this person or not maybe a little communication but not a lot not a lot about this connection i feel so let's see what your person's energy is at this time leo whoever you're thinking about or this reading whoever's on your mind what is their energy at this time Six of Pentacles. That's like the minor of the Justice card. The Page of Swords. So they're watching you, Leo. No doubt about it. Two of Cups and thinking, wow, this soulmate union here. I could really, really um, give back Leo. I could see myself in like a equal give and take loving connection. Karen connection over there with Leo. But right now, there's kind of a lot of watching. Maybe not a lot of action. But they could be strategizing how to communicate. This can be honest, truthful communication. Hmm. Leo, interesting. But they do feel this soulmate energy with you, with this Two of Cups energy. They're watching you. Maybe the more they watch you, your social media, the more their, uh, their um, feelings are becoming stronger. All right. What else here? Leo's person four of swords so they're doing a lot of healing thinking maybe they've had to recuperate from something and i feel like they're alone this four is kind of four of swords is kind of like the hermit energy to me it says that is about um retreat energy going within healing seven of pentacles so there could have been um some investments here again it could have been someone you worked with maybe at one time but not any longer and maybe that's where the investment part comes in so they're strategizing here maybe how to invest or reinvest here high priestess so definitely could be again no communication right now it did kind of fall out weird like almost upside down but not really kind of sideways so the challenge right now is they're strategizing how to communicate to you leo you know very spiritual connection here maybe they're learning how to trust their intuition higher knowing trying to become spiritual if you are spiritual um it's a little bit of a challenge for them right now that's pisces energy oh my god <laughs> we got a match leo this could be a very spiritual connection right here through source the universe dreaming about each other and you know if it was this way i'd be like they're kind of looking at each other but right now one has our back to the other so i feel like one person is more connected spiritually than the other but we do have an equal match here you two could be very witty together it could you know a lot of great communication uh very smart practical analytical when you're together you kind of think alike talk alike you could probably finish each other's sentences know what the other is thinking wow and the king and the queen of swords kind of reminds me of divine clarity from source source coming in here uh trying to bring forth the messages the guidance what else here for leo's person hangman emperor oh my god they're trying to gain control of their life their situation this could be someone who could be a boss could have been your boss at one time entrepreneur owns their own business someone of high ranking of authority that makes a lot of decisions uh but they're kind of in this hangman pose right now so things are in limbo for them right now but i feel like they're definitely strategizing something so we have pisces and aries energy here they're gaining new enlightenment uh perspectives 
wanting to take control. You see this emperor looking at the queen of swords. They're almost looking at you like, wow, this person could be kind of like my equal match. You know, they think like me, they speak like me. Um, they could be like me in a lot of ways. And I could see us, you know, looking at you like, wow, I could really get along well with this Leo. You know, maybe they're recently divorced because the Queen of Swords can be someone who was recently divorced, been through a lot. So maybe they've been through that, but they're also looking at you like, wow, you know, Leo has been through the same thing I've been through. And we share a lot of similar uh, past experiences, energies, could have a lot in common. And maybe they're just realizing that here with the Hangman energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for them. Nine of Pentacles. So they're definitely single. So, Leo, if you're wondering if they're seeing somebody else, or if they're still single, or if they've been divorced, or if they've whatever here, I would say yes, they're definitely single. They're doing healing work. They're trying to figure out how to invest, what they want to invest in. And I feel like they're trying to learn how to listen to spirituality, faith, intuition. So, we have Divine Masculine here with the Emperor. What's the overall energy on the bottom? Is the Nine of Wands. Again, someone, uh, Ten of Wands. Somebody who's been through endings here. It could have been both of you. A lot of burdensome, overwhelming energy. But we got the Four of Wands under that, which is my soulmate twin flame card. Doesn't have to be. This could be dating, getting to know. Definitely two people here who could have been married at one time or committed, and that's come to an end. I have Temperance under that, which is Sagittarius. Soulmates that are meant to be. And look at that, the top Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. Oh my gosh, Leo. I feel like here we kind of have two people. If this is resonating for you, please do leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. I definitely feel like here we have two people who probably have been through the same walks of life, the same experiences. That's why there's this strong spiritual connection that you both feel. We do have a matching couple. We have the Queen of Pentacles, but we don't have the King. We have the Emperor, but we don't have the Empress. We have the High Priestess, but we don't have the Hierophant. But we do have the Lovers energy here. Wow, Leo. So we're going to see where this is going in the extended. You know, they're finally going to reach out. Will this be overcome? Will there be a coming together here? Possible outcome in future? blockages challenges uh, we'll get advice guidance we'll get love messages with the twin flame oracle deck by mystic moon so again all the links are below well i said we didn't have the high priestess we have goddess of the moon which is like high priestess energy to me so again a very spiritual connection here and look at this leo communication i can't make it up i cannot make it up leo oh my goodness all right we're gonna see where this is going leo so again links are below come meet me over there and we'll see how this is all gonna go down so if you go i shall see you there if not best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and i shall see you next time